eliminate your will. It's quiet, okay. Huh? So, so, so well, well, you know, I just struggle with my will. I struggle doing it my thing. I don't like nobody questioning me. Well, my thing is I thought you were blood-bought. I thought you were washed in the blood of the Lamb. See, in 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19, in the New American Standard Bible, it says, knowing that you, are, you were not redeemed with perishable things like silver and gold from your fruitful way of life, he says, inherited from your forefathers, but with the precious blood as of, the, as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us and freed us from the sin of reasoning. He's like, wait a minute, I, I don't say that. It, it cleanses us of all sin. So guess what? The sin of reasoning. Remember, reasoning births rebellion. Yeah. The proof that a person is rebellious is by the words that they speak. For the remissions, forgiveness, or pardoning of your sins. See, most of us have learned that the first place that Yeshua shed his blood was on Calvary. When he took the stripes on his back for our health. The crown of thorns on his head that won back our prosperity. The pierced hand that won back our dominion over the things we touch. His pierced feet that won back our dominion over the places we walk. His pierced heart that won back our joy. His bruises that won our deliverance from inner hurts and iniquity. But Calvary was not the first place that Yeshua shed his blood. It was in the garden of Gethsemane. Okay. It, it, see, see, it's not a coincidence that the first place that Yeshua ransomed us or shed his redemptive blood for us was in a garden. Because the first place we lost the power of you our will was in the Garden of Eden. Okay. That, that, that's why First Peter says we were redeemed, we were ransomed, we were brought back to the original place. Okay, I, I, are y'all with me now? So scripture proves that Yeshua dealt with reasoning. Both being God and man. He, he, see, he, he knew full well what his accusers were going to do to him. They were going to pluck his beard out. They, was gonna, they were going to beat him with the cat of nine tails. They were going to make him. He knew every single thing. So the struggle was with his humanity and yet his deity. Am I talking to anybody in here? And so, and so, and so the truth of the matter is the most high, ah, my God, had commanded him to do this. But his flesh was weak, wanting to escape the agony and the torture that he was about to do. But his spirit was willing. Luke, Luke, look, somebody say Luke, 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 Luke 22, 43 and 44 in the King James. And so it says, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was as were great drops of blood falling down from the ground. So it was not on Calvary the first time he shed his blood, but the first time his blood was shed was in the garden. Oh my God. Am I are y'all here? So, so this is how Yeshua shed his blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. And, and now keep in mind that we've been redeemed by the blood. So the willpower, the first Adam surrendered in the Garden of Eden, the second Adam redeemed our willpower back in the Garden of Gethsemane. How did he do it when he said, not my will? Not my but God, I wish I had some help in here. And so how is it that you forget so quickly how you got your willpower back? The reason why you were able to give up drugs and go not go back is was because of the blood. The reason why you were able to give up lying and not go back, it was because of the blood. The reason why I got 